Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that the ratio of Alicia's weight to Kate's weight is 4 by 3 is to 11 by 6. If the weight of Kate is 66 kilograms, what is the sum of weights of Alicia and Kate? Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. And the first result is any fraction of the form A upon B A upon C upon D is equal to AD upon BC. Now if two ratios are equal say x upon y is equal to p upon q then by cross multiplying we get x into Q is equal to Y into P. That means if we have two ratios which are equal, that is X over Y is equal to P over Q, then it means X into Q is equal to Y into P. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. And now we will start with the solution. Now in the question, the ratio of Alicia's weight to Kate's weight is given as 4 by 3 is to 11 by 6. And the weight of Kate is also given as 66 kilograms. And we have to find the sum of weights of Alicia and Kate in kilograms. Now given the ratio of Alicia's weight to Kate's weight is 4 by 3 is to 11 by 6. Now let us simplify this given ratio. Now simplifying the given ratio we get now this ratio can be written as 4 upon 3, 4 upon 11 upon 6. From the key idea, we know that any fraction of the form A upon B, 4 upon C upon D is equal to AD upon DC. So here, this will be equal to 4 into 6, 4 upon 3 into 11. Now, the common factor of 3 and 6 is 3. So, dividing numerator and denominator in Equation 1 by 3, we get 4 into 6 upon 3, 4 upon 3 into 11 upon 3. Now 3 into 2 is 6 and 3 into 1 is 3. So this will be equal to 4 into 2 
one upon one into eleven, which is equal to eight by eleven. Or you can write this ratio as eight is to eleven. Now it is also given that eight weight is sixty-six kilograms. Now we have to find Alicia's weight. So let Alicia's weight be x kilograms. So the ratio of Alicia's weight. to Kate's weight will be x is to 66 now from the key idea we know that if two ratios are equal then we can write them as x upon y is equal to p upon q which means x into q is equal to p into y now this is the ratio of alicia's weight to kate's weight and this is also the ratio of alicia's weight to kate's weight so we can write 8 is to 11 is equal to x is to 66 which implies 8 upon 11 is equal to x upon 66 now on cross multiplying we get eight into 66 is equal to x into 11 which implies 8 into 66 whole upon 11 is equal to x now the common factor of 11 and 66 is 11 now let this equation the equation a so as the common factor of 11 and 66 is 11 So dividing the numerator and denominator of the left hand side of equation A by eleven, we get. Eight into sixty-six upon eleven, whole upon eleven upon eleven is equal to x. Now eleven into six is sixty-six, and eleven into one is eleven. So this implies eight into six whole upon one is equal to x, which further implies. X is equal to forty-eight. Therefore, Alicia's weight is equal to forty-eight kilograms. Now, Kate's weight is sixty-six kilograms. Alicia's weight is forty-eight kilograms. So, the sum of weights. Of Alicia and Kate is equal to forty-eight kilograms plus sixty-six kilograms, which is equal to one hundred and fourteen kilograms, and which is our required answer. So this is the solution of the given question, and that's all for this session. 
Hope you all have enjoyed the session.